Hong Kong's contemporary art scene is filled with an impressive array of artists eager to share their visions. One such artist is Vincent Lee. My name is Vincent Lee. I'm a contemporary artist in Hong Kong. I graduated from Rosary Hill School and now I'm having a Master of Fine Art Studies at the Chinese University of Hong Kong. My special interest is acrylic painting and sometimes I will do comic drawing and hand-drawn designs as well. Vincent Lee is a proud operator of his own art studio where he creates and displays his work. I have operated my Kwai Heng studio for four years. I opened the studio by coincidence. In 2016, my mentee from Rosary Hill School called Augustine Che recommended me to hire a studio in Kwai Heng. And I found that the price of the rental was quite reasonably priced. So I consider hiring a unit from on fat industrial building to persist with my acrylic painting habit. The goal is, uh, I hope that I can do monumental acrylic paintings as similar as how Professor Lui Chen Kwon's apprentices from CHK Fine Arts usually do at uh, 410 industrial area. And uh, this is a very good place because I can definitely avoid a doing acrylic painting in a tiny home environment and in the industrial district I can explore some ambitious projects as well and also I want to do some works that can uh, keep abreast with the demands from Art Basel, Art Central, Asia Contemporary Art Show and Affordable Art Fair and of course, I can deal with the requests from the collectors uh, within the central gallery districts as well. Vincent Lee's path of inspiration is rather unique. I usually obtain ideas from my daily lives. For example, uh, the lifeguard working episodes and also the food tasting experiences. Usually, I would regard that uh, my, my existing career as a lifeguard uh, will stimulate some kind of sexual desires within our innermost qualities and this kind of sexual desires won't be easily accomplished in re reality but i can express them from uh, from my imagination and i can bravely portray them out onto the canvases and for the foods i love the portuguese cuisines very much so i will usually obtain the inspirations from uh, from my experience of visiting macau and also i i love the indian foods as well and i used to uh, visit the Chongqing mansion for the curry foods and then uh, I will re represent these kinds of tasty feelings onto the canvases as well. Vincent Lee's journey in arts began well over a decade ago and was further developed at his alma mater, Rosary Hill School. It was within these walls where he discovered how much he truly loved arts. Well, I think art gives me lots of pleasures because I can visualize my imaginations onto canvas, onto my diaries, onto the drawing papers, etc. And uh, it is even more efficient than writing, I would mm. say, because writing is a straightforward description of words, but for art, I can uh, describe something illogical. Mm -hmm. And I can also portray something uh, illusional from my mind as well which everybody might, might think that, oh, these kinds of things are impossible. But it can be romanticized mm -hmm. to be very sweet, mm -hmm, to be yeah. very possible as well. So I, I think art can give me lots of spiritual rewards. Okay. So I love this kind of aspect. I see. So that means when you're very small, you start loving arts, right? Yeah, since the kindergarten age as well. Because I... Uh, I, I, I attended the art course from Chen Chao Art Gallery in accordance with my mum's arrangement mm -hmm. and I love the process of experimenting the oil pastel mm -hmm. and, uh, and I found that if I followed the uh, television cartoon movies to draw uh -huh. I would get lots of rewards from, uh, from, from the process of figure painting uh -huh. so I, I think uh, 
I have developed a strong interest in art since my very infant age. Oh, I see. And it accompanied me to go through my growth. Rosary Hill School certainly played a huge role in shaping Vincent into the artist he is today. Well, Rosary Hill School is a very graceful campus. It gave me lots of good memories, mm -hmm. no matter for extracurricular activities and also my artistic creativity. And it is also a solemn shelter for religious worship as well, mm -hmm. because I can experience the grace of Lord mm -hmm. and Hail Mary from here. And throughout this past decade, I, I found lots of uh, good experience in studio art practices and all these practices were or originated from my good uh, experience of art learning at RHS. I think RHS is a good place to build up your uh, art creative because um, the, teach, uh, the school gives you a lot of uh, opportunities uh, so you can join the art contest. And I think during the art contest, you have learned a lot of things. And then I think you have gained some uh, 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 experience from that, right? Mm. Mm. The respect and appreciation between Vincent and Rosary Hill School goes both ways, as a number of teachers and fathers at the school have personally chosen his artwork for display. Oh, but no, because uh, I, uh, the reason is because I know our student and I respect his uh, paintings, and of course it is an honor to have uh, paintings of our students around the school. He also has another prominent painting displayed in the school's library. So I did this painting for the 50th anniversary celebration of Rosary Hill School and uh, it is a Chinese ink painting and I tried to integrate the, uh, the, very, the very western elements of colour expressions with the uh, uh, textual strokes of Chinese landscape. And you can see a poet by uh, Tan scholar called Li Bo as well. And uh, I remember that Mr. Matthew Sitt loved this painting very much. And he was very thankful for my dedication. And I remember that during uh, the 50th anniversary celebration, I have contributed lots of artistic footprints to our school. And this is a very remarkable one. And comparing with my current creations, I, I would say that I will much, uh, I'll concentrate much on uh, the social science and philosophical uh, concepts. And for the past, I will just concentrate on the techniques and also um, whether I, 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 I can accomplish the Chinese spirits or not. And, uh, but if you look at this Chinese ink painting, you, you can see that uh, I, I love nature very much. And Rosary Hill School is also surrounded by natural environment. We can see of lots of trees from the forestry area. We can, we can smell the fragrance of the flowers and butterflies. And, uh, and actually this episode corresponds with the vision of my Chinese painting as well. I'm Amy. Uh, I'm a porcelain painting artist for over 20 years. I have my uh, workshop, porcelain painting workshop. Okay, so I knew Vincent for a very long time mm. uh, because we both love arts. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we joined the Cycle Art Fair together. Yes, yes, yes. We meet uh, each other once a year, right? Yeah, almost, almost once, a year. once a year. Yeah, in the uh, art fair and also in the school events like mm. that, yeah. Mm -hmm. Vincent is a um, very uh, artistic person. Um, he gave me the first impression was that <clears throat> he loves art so much. Mm. Um, everything he talked about is about art. <laughs> and every time I saw him, he's presenting his art piece either to the father or to the teacher. <laughs> so I found that this young man was, is very... Um, creative. I saw his art piece on the Facebook and sometimes in the art fair I saw his uh, painting personally. It's very um, different from the other artists I, I can tell because he got his own idea 
He draws whatever he likes. He's very special, I think. Well, his art piece, as I said before, is very special. <clears throat> he loves his to paint portrait as well. Mm. So in his portrait, I, I can see he's very um, open, open-minded. Mm. And uh, although I'm not quite um, understood what what the meaning in the in the art piece but I still love it so much I I think he got his own idea his own creative in the art piece but I'm not in his field I'm I'm you know uh, in porcelain painting field I, I can't paint what he is doing on my porcelain so I think he's very special in his idea of painting the portrait and it's very fresh it's different from other artists his idea is very good yeah Vincent's method and approach to painting has developed greatly since his high school life. Well, I admit that during my RHS age, my paintings were all purely narrative. For example, I did visual diaries and I did comic drawings and I did poster designs, these kinds of stuffs, and I just reflected my egocentric desires onto the canvas or onto the paper. But now, at CHK Fine Arts and my Kwai Heng studio, I will think even deeper in, in, in creativity because I will also think about the ideas like social science and philosophies. So I will concern whether my works will become even more academic. That suits the request of either Art Basel, uh, the Biennial Art Exhibition, or, uh, or, 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 or M plus level. I'll think about these concerns. So your painting, you most likely paint people, a portrait, right? Yeah. Why? My keen interest. <laughs> uh, I, I love to describe stories. Uh-huh. Yeah, the human stories from my life experiences. Uh -huh. And human beings can be adopted to easily describe something from our mind. Mm. For example, telling some social science theories or some philosophical ideas so it will be used very easily if comparing to uh, abstract or landscape expressions. We asked Vincent to showcase some of his more recent work back at his art studio. Well, my favorite pieces for exhibition include the lifeguard buddies in Sausage Love and also this painting, The Christmas Portuguese Banquet. I have ever exhibited this piece during the Innermost Art Exhibition last November. And, uh, and the contents were all about Portuguese foods. For example, uh, the seafood fried rice with great prawns and also uh, uh, some, some pork chops with the uh, yolks nearby and with some Mediterranean salads as well. I, I think that the Portuguese people uh, love eating very much and they have lots of, uh, we, we call that the, uh, the flavors for making the ingredients to be very tasty. And I try to present this kind of desires uh, in a very uh, vivid manner. And I found that during my HKC year and A-level art era, I just needed to draw uh, several pieces of fruits, vegetables, and vases. And I haven't experienced portraying a large sum of banquet foods. And for this innermost art exhibition, it was a good try for me to make a breakthrough in still life painting, to portray a bunch of delicious foods uh, uh, that can stimulate audiences' appetites. Vincent also uses his talents in painting to express his opinions on the society. Well, this painting is called uh, Lifeguard Buddies in Sausage Love. You can see that the two lifeguards are pursuing oral sex during the resting occasions. And I find that um, some of uh, some of the males from particular laboring professions can easily disclose their sexual desires without any moral restraints. And lifeguard is one of these professions. 
actually, lots of Hong Kong citizens do have hidden homosexual genes inside. And because of the confusion restraints of our Chinese society, this kind of homosexual desire cannot be easily disclosed, or else it will come out with lots of criticisms from outside, and it will also threaten your uh, job stabilities as well. But if you put aside these kinds of concerns, we find that um, you still have this kind of desires, and it is a must for you to release them out. And I find that these kinds of desires can be reviewed from, uh, from pigments and also uh, from my expressions on the canvas. And I hope to present some visions that we can never see from reality. And I, I, I set two lifeguards to doing this kind of uh, pornography actions because I hope to satisfy audiences' sexual desires. And I want to tell everybody that lifeguards can be very sassy, lifeguards can be very naturalistic, and lifeguards can be uh, very graceful because they protect people from, from the danger of swimming and they will over uh, a muscular body uh, to, to, uh, to over temptations for, for, for the people who are eager to have sex. And I think um, this kind of offer is a very generous offer. And I hope that everybody can appreciate the beauty of lifeguard. Now for this painting, it is about the chocolate ice cream and, as, and also the Kit Kat uh, chocolate as well. Uh, from this painting, you can see that there are some dark chocolate um, cakes nearby and also some waffles as well. Um, for a male artist, it is a rare phenomenon that he can paint something feministic. And ladies used to enjoy desserts. And I hope that uh, I can paint something that satisfies the ladies' desires. And I have chosen chocolate as theme. And you can see that the whole painting looks very colorful and it seems like uh, the, uh, the fresh exhibits and even the masterpieces from Art Basel as well. These kinds of styles are very common because lots of contemporary artists will do this kind of dessert or food related works in a very colorful fashion, even though it appears like a pop art creation. And uh, I, I still remember that Andy Warhol will use some silk screen printmaking effect to make uh, his painting to be as colorful as possible to convey the idea of consumerism. And actually, Andy Warhol also admires uh, the, uh, the sacredness of consumerism as well, and he openly adored this kind of um, commercial ideology. And I'm also a very commercial person, I would say, and I don't mind making my paintings to be commercialized. And even for describing desserts like chocolates, it can become like an advertisement. So I hope that uh, I can present a vision of an advertisement onto the canvas. And so everybody can feel that we are within a cosmopolitan realm by appreciating this kind of aesthetic pleasures. Now, for this painting, it is about a swimming coach. Uh, you know that I have another identity as a swimming coach as well. And I recently teach two kids uh, to, to, to swim from the fundamental uh, level. And um, I used to sit on the lifeguard stand to observe the flow of the swimming pool water how the lights are, re are reflected from the light blue of the underneath part of the pool. And I, I, I really admire this kind of visual effect and I hope to present them out. And you can see that the blue colors that I adopt are quite fresh, uh, quite inclined to the freshness of the sky as well. And I love the joy of 
these two of of these three kids being taught by the swimming coach, uh, they just kick within the floating board, and they they are innocent, and they just play within the water, but they have lots of fun because this swimming coach uh, cares for their happiness all the time, and I find that this swimming coach is very muscular. And uh, and he's very professional as well in giving articulate guidances within the restricted swimming hiring lines, and you can see the flow of the waves as well. The flow of the waves are uh, quite splashy, and uh, you can see some white turbulences as well, and uh, you can see the light reflections from uh, from the ceilings. So all these kinds of effects test my ability of how to observe the natural substances in a vivid manner. We then took a look at his latest work, which combines everything he has learned about contemporary art today. Well, my recent painting is a final assignment submitted to Professor Kurt Chen at CHK Fine Arts. The name of this painting is "The Helpless Feeling of Acute Vision." And from this painting, you can see that a frog is being hanged through a string, and he and it was hoisted to jump everywhere within the red framework, and it is actually a restricted red framework. The next part from this painting is a snake jumping within the tornado. And uh, from this whole painting, you can see that. Both kinds of animals are jumping delightfully within the restricted areas. For example, a restricted red stage, a red framework, and with some uh, with some white nest nearby as well. And for the snake, it it cannot climb everywhere, but it can only jump within uh, within within the wind. And uh, this kind of story. Implies that even though we are restricted by the social political circumstances and also some insane desperations, we can still utilize the restricted framework to create some happiness. For example, this frog is obviously restricted by the political environment, but it can still jump happily. As similar as the dancers from the movement of air multimedia artwork of Claudia Bardain and Andrea Mordot, and for this Nick, uh, it can still jump happily, as similar as the ballet dancer from Claudia Bardain and Andrea Mordot's artwork. Well, actually, this painting was inspired by the idea of. Claudia Bardain and Andrew Mordor's multimedia artwork because um, I love the motions of the dancers uh, within the theatrical environment, and I love the digital effect of light projections, and there are also some interlaces of uh, the the uh, uh, the motional effects as well. And I hope to transform the dancers to be two kinds of animals uh, to make the whole painting. Become more humorous in vision. Despite Vincent's young age, he has definitely made an impact on the contemporary art scene in and out of the city. We asked Vincent to reflect on some of his greatest achievements.、Uh, simply for art, I will I will think that I have ever obtained、uh, the tertiary sec、uh, tertiary level second place award from the eighth. Philippines China Japan International Fine Arts Competition, organized by Asia Co Exchange Cultural Association Philippines Incorporated, in 2008. It was a very rewarding experience that my Chinese ink paintings could reach an international level of recognition. And my another rewarding experience was that my former boss from Art of Nature Gallery. Took my abstract painting to Malaysian yarn artist exhibition at Penan State Art Gallery, and、uh, I could climb up to the international stage for showcasing my works, 
And another rewarding experience was that I have ever participated in cycle art affairs for three times. And I got to know lots of good friends from Sai Kong, including the foreigners and also the art lovers and collectors as well. Vincent's journey is far from over, as he wishes to make an even greater impact on the contemporary art field. I decided to further my master's studies at CHK Fine Arts because I want to consolidate my knowledge in curatorship. Uh, throughout the decade, after my bachelor graduation, I found that uh, my existing curatorial strategies become not too applicable, I would say. Um, and I found that there are some other kinds of contemporary art knowledge that I am still ignorant with. So I must further my studies because at CHK Fine Arts, I have very good professors who are good at theories and I can uh, deal with cultural theories and philosophies as well. So my mindset towards the global art scene will be a bit different after my master's studies. And also I will undergo a, a process of transformation in my curatorial thought as well. Vincent admits that the time he has spent so far at the Chinese University of Hong Kong has been invaluable. Well, CHK is actually a gifted place for academic research. In this university, I can learn some new knowledge in art practices. For example, I learn how to do mixed media works. I learn how to do quality contemporary artworks based on three notions. For example, physicality, cultural significance, and spirituality. These three notions are proposed by Professor Kurt Chen and I deeply remind these three notions in my heart when dealing with my uh, painting creativity and also I can learn cultural theories in which I will learn some new aesthetic concepts and uh, some uh, philosophical ideas as well. These can help enrich the contents of my paintings and also I can have directions of how to develop more brilliant ideas. Moreover, I can exchange new ideas with my Emmy classmates as well. For example, uh, we exchanged the adjective paradoxes for our second assignment and then after receiving the paradoxes from my groupmates, I can further develop my third assignment, uh, the helpless feeling of cute fiction. And also, I think it is a place uh, with humanity spirit because there are lots of library resources related to literature, philosophy and histories and I can find some important academic discoveries as well. Okay. Being a CHK student can enable me to remain minimal and primitive in all campus occasions. Uh, there is a very famous saying that the CHK boys like to wear slippers and sweaters all the time. And in CHK I can remain very naturalistic. I don't need to be pretentious. I can uh, 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 um, exchange academic ideas in a very liberal environment. And also I can play with the young boys without any age boundaries. Um, I recently joined the rowing team and uh, received intensive sports trainings as well. And I find that the boys in CHK are very nice and, um, and, and we, we will have lots of exhibition opportunities. For example, in the coming year, there will be a special session from the graduation show reserving for the year one students to showcase their assignments as exhibits as well. For my two years of CHK studies, I, I would say that I'm very thankful for being a master student here because um, I can further rediscover my confidence in fine arts and uh, getting tired with the chaotic social and political circumstances throughout the past decade. I need to recharge myself. 
especially for the knowledge about curatorship and, um, and contemporary art awareness. I should recharge myself. As CHK allows me to enjoy a very good shelter for recharging my knowledge, recharging my battery, and recharging my spirituality as well. I, I'm very thankful with this university for giving me this chance to, uh, to, 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 to let me have transformations. With an eye on the future, we asked Vincent what his plans are. Well, I will continue running my Quai Heng painting studio, keep on doing lots of paintings, and keep on with my art tutorships. Uh, various, I will continue to serve as a lifeguard and a swimming coach at the same time. Well, um, I hope that after my CHK Fine Art Studies, there will be more galleries or auction houses approaching me for giving me some chances to showcase my works within the contemporary art scene. And I don't mind to do some conceptual works if the curators request me to deal with particular creative ideas. I, I feel pleasant to do so. I feel pleasant to be an occupational artist.